This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. It gets better or worse depending on how you look at it. The House and Senate passed the Rescue Act and the PM is signing it as I write this. So everybody in America except the wealthy will get $1,400. And if you're out of work, the unemployment benefits were extended by this bill, so you'll have more money there. But it gets better, or worse. My county is getting $300 million, and they're going to use part of that, brace yourself, for what they are calling a relief a -thon. You can call in and tell them you need money and they will give it to you. You can call in and tell them you need money and they will give it to you. So if you play your cards right, you could be making out very well on this. I would say you have been properly stimulated. You have been rescued. I wish the county had used that money to fund a TV game show like the old Queen for a Day. People, mostly women, maybe all women, this was before men were queens, women came on and burst into tears saying that they needed a new washing machine. They couldn't keep up with the dirty diapers. Or the millionaire, a guy would go around handing out cashier's checks for a million dollars. Now there's a stimulus. The George Floyd trial is proceeding. Man, I would hate to be a juror in that case. Every day you go to trial and you pass armed guards, barricades, protesters. It looks like you're in Syria or Washington, D.C. But this is Minneapolis. Minnesota. This is Lake Wobegon territory. And these protesters are not going to accept anything less than a guilty verdict on a murder charge. So, this is an enormous test to the impartiality and the integrity and the courage of the jurors. There is so much pressure on them. Will their verdict be just? or made out of fear. I would be fearful. I would hope I could be just. I know if I would know where justice was. As in many cases, the victim contributed to his death. But he did not deserve to be killed or even to die. And George Floyd is now a martyr. He's a martyr and the cop is a murderer. That's the narrative. The PM addressed the nation last night. We missed it. I'll try to catch up today. We watched our poetry shows, New York State of Mind by Naz and The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus. Naz, 16 or 17 when he wrote it, paints a bleak, dark, dangerous, graphic picture of the violent, drug-infested hell he grew up in. The book I'm reading argues that Richard Pryor was created by the world he grew up in, Peoria, Illinois. For Nassim Jones, it was Queens, New York. The song, like Richard Pryor's routines, was filled with the word nigger. The song depicts a terrible world a crime, and if you're looking for hope, it would be that Nas survived it, found his voice, and is now honored by Harvard. The most striking line in Lazarus's poem, for me, has always been, it's the wretched refuse of your teeming shores, human garbage, welcome here. 
By the way, the PM is starting to catch some flack because of the daily chaos on the southern border. Nothing down there is lifting a lamp beside the golden door. The county and the city are both going to get hundreds of millions of dollars of federal money. This should go to debt, police and fire, rainy day fund, and infrastructure. But we will have relief a -thon and free smartphones and plasma TVs. A politician said he hoped that we would manage the money in a reasonable and prudent way, that we would be wise, he said. I see no reason to expect that. Our track record points in a very different direction. I keep thinking about NAS and the New York state of mind. In my life, my sheltered life, I see hope, peace, and reconciliation among the races. I see people interacting, treating people like people. It lifts me up, and I have never heard a single gunshot from inside my home, my sheltered home. But I know that hell exists, still, and not far away, swamped with drugs and a record number of murders. And I think, well, it doesn't really affect me, and there's nothing I can do about it, and so I go on my merry way. I can't help but think that I will pay a price one day for that very poor decision. All those hells in our country spawn more than a great song. I bet George Floyd lived in one of those hells.